of iron skin. What's this? Jesus.
This should help. Cyrus, this one is Nagasta, the necromancer of Strauss Magai. Have we met? The contractor informed this one of your impending arrival. He did? This one tenders you the amulet that will be delivered. To the governor, right? Make sure of its safety, delivered to him personally. The contractor will pay you the rest of your fee after the matter is settled. Are you familiar with a woman named Izara? Other souls this one has gathered of late have whispered the name. She's my sister. Then count your sister among the living, for she's not cold yet, or this one would know her well. How long have you lived on Stros Mackay? How long in legend? This one arrived in the start's better years, and was given fair compass of these foul souls. In that time, this one was but a tale in passing, a shiver in riddle. How long have you been better than a legend, then? Since the end of the war, how could this one neglect so rich a harvest, a sea so brim with the dead, that its tide swelled round the world? So this one conjured a net to catch them all, these lost and torn violent souls. Thereafter, this one's presence has been well known here, perhaps somewhat feared as well. I thought Hammerfell was plagued by necromancy only in the north, where Sentinel lay in similar shadow. Do not speak ill, mortal, of this one's liege lord, the king of worms, or his grace grants these shores, as this one's bountiful at the ground. Is your foul practice not contested by the men of this island? Cyrus, what men are left, this one wonders. Or women of like mine, or violence against me. They were all slain in the war, and dead now they serve this one without protest. The maiders kill wines, as is its wont when practitioners of this one's craft challenge their dominion, but the governor shrewdly weighs his one's concerns above theirs. Why is that? This one is a better friend than enemy. How do these souls so collected serve you? This one's business in souls doesn't concern you. Let the Deja Lords look with favor on a necromancer with a stock in trade. Should scarcely surprise you. Why does the Mage's Guild hate you? Outside the obvious reason. Such unsettled jargons, little trouble this one, Red God. As for the Guild and Mati. With their archmage dead in the sea dust, their impotence breeds fight against this one's masteries. What happened to the archmage? He perished in the war, protecting the crown, and was lost at sea. I lament that the snare was not then set, for such a soul would have been fit to. 
cultivate for night's on end. He was powerful then, this archmage? Scarcely. He was noted for his trappings, not his trivial skills. His magical artifacts, however, such might even be worth this one's notice. No, oh, I'll get right on it. You have the island under a spell, Nagasta? A sort of snare of this one's own devising, which gathers lost souls and bears them thither. For strange and terrible experiments, no doubt. This one is comfortable with the trappings of his vocation, even if his victims lack such comfort. My sister had better not be among them. A being holds as much mystery for this one as it does for you. Inquire elsewhere. So the great necromancer is running dog to the lords of hell. Why are they always on the top of the diabolical food chain? This one laps at the scraps from no one's table record. Clavicus vile grants this one favors with every soul sent his way. Clavicus vile? Please. Do not mock that name, mortal. <laughs> Pray forgive me, Necromancer. It just seemed an overly unsubtle name, that is all. Nature were born before stars, mortal. Do you consider that perhaps such names preceded, and perhaps inspired? The concepts they connote. What can you tell me about the governor? That he is a generous patron, sending a steady flow to this one even with the war long over. His policies bring profit, and finally by the amulet, may his generosity be acknowledged. What is this amulet you give to the governor? A red diamond this one has found among many treasures and judges fitting for a servant of the Empire, who might fly such symbols on their standards. And the dragon setting is well suited to honor the governor, whose command of such a beast gained the victory at Stros Makai, and blazed Amarfell in the Emperor's hands. You knew the worthy king then. Does he rattle in your bag too? He died in Sentinel, not Stros Makai and was therefore outside of this one's catching web, and before this one's time here as well. Right, your soul snare went up during the war, after Fassad was already dead. And besides, Fassad would have journeyed to the gods in any case, for he was keen and prudent. A few good strides, and he'd be at the temple door. What difference would that make? This one's snare catches only the heedless, those spirits unprotected by the holy rituals are those interred in unhallowed ground. So, if you would avoid this one's net, die close by the temple, or far from the island shores. So, the temple is your prime competitor in the area? The economy to this devil's work. The good brothers of Arke have a somewhat different perspective on the currency of the soul. They strive to shepherd its return, while this one prefers to manage flocks for profit, or should one say, a soul good brother of our gay, <laughs> since there is but one left. One has become raveled in my astral net, having bought it from this world not long ago. How could a temple member be snared when he works in the very haven that opposes you. By leaving long the haven, this one speculates, but quite doubtful it is agreed. How long ago was this? A good three master moons. That's about the time my sister vanished. Goodbye, Nagasta. Farewell, Cyrus. A pleasure doing business with you.
I wonder what's in there. I need to use this with something else. Try me, Red Guard, son uh, of the pirates. Uh, a, a sharp sword will be hot work, but your labors are done. I wonder what's in there. Try me, Red Guard. It's out of my way. You die, Red Guard. You're quite risk put it. You're open. Uh. Search his bag. Uh. He may be one of those. I wonder what's in there. Lad? I need to use this with something else.
Well? Hello, Maiko. Hello, Cyrus. Something I can do for you? Have you ever heard of the Flask of Lilandrum? Hunding's bones, of course I have. Treasure hunters come here from all over Tamriel, digging and poking around interminably. Well, they say there's a treasure map floating around here somewhere, but I don't believe it. Do you have any maps for sale? Sorry, I don't sell retail. Contract work only. But perhaps I can make a map for you? I wonder if you can make anything of this. These look like map notations to me. Let me see. Oh, bloody hell, this again. Jaffer must have sold this annotated copy of Elven Artifacts ten times. And they always end up here. Can you make me a map, they say? Why is everyone so mad over lost Elven treasure? I'm sorry, but I'm afraid I'm too busy today. I'm willing to pay for the map, handsomely. Just name your price. Persistent, eh? Listen, if you'll give me the book, I'll make it for you. One last time, free of charge. At least then I won't ever have to see it again. Sounds good. When will the map be ready? Come back in a little while. I'll see what I can make of it. Magnificent! Excuse me, miss. Can I have a word? Yes. My name's Mariah. What can I do for you? You wouldn't happen to know the password to the den, would you? Oh, no. Mariah, do you know anything about the flask of Lolandrel? The tail. <laughs> Any idea how I can get into the palace? Richton doesn't take to uninvited guests. <laughs> what do you know about this Restless League group? They scare me, frankly. They seem to remain as quiet as possible. Thanks, Mariah. Can you heal me? Um... Uh. Until later. Goodbye.
I can't use this by itself. I wonder what's in there. God, surround him. I'm it's quick on pirates. You're quite a trifling. I'm quick. Give him up to me. Ah. I've been cut. Ah. Some gold, this should help. Some gold, this should help. It's empty, somebody's really been through this place. Locked. It's locked. 